Hey, it's Taki again, and I just wanted to address a question that seems to come up a lot for us, and it's uh, how do we do it? How do we work together, love together with parents? Uh, how does it all work? How do we keep the magic going? And for me, uh, the number one thing is I guess I've learned that my happiness is uh, found in making her happy. So as long as I make her happy, um, my happiness kind of comes out of that. And to see her do the things that make her happy just works. I mean, she's my best friend. Um, we're definitely uh, married, but we're still boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, so, That's the uh, fun part. <laughs> yeah, and, and some other reasons that uh, are not G-rated, so we're not going to go there. But um, for me, that's where the so-called magic comes from. I don't know if it's different for you, but... Uh, well, for me, it's just being, you know, best friends, and he is my best friend, and being able to talk to him and confide in him, and as we all, you know, want to have a man to listen to us, <laughs> even though he don't want to listen all the time. <laughs> just to listen to what I'm saying, even if what I'm just babbling on, you know, that's really important, it's very important to me, and it means a lot to me, um, you know, just spending quality time together, being together, experiencing new things together, just taking new adventures together in life, it's, that, that's really important to me. Part of that, um, making her happy, is actually how the whole caviar fish stick thing was developed. Because I don't know if you, well, of course, I film it sometimes, but you can't really see the look on my wife's face when they're shopping and she's buying stuff for the kids, her and all that. And so that's what makes her happy. Shopping, uh, getting stuff for the kids, going out, traveling, staying at exotic places, all those things put a smile on her face. So we just figured out a way to do it, and then it just kind of bubbled up into this whole caviar lifestyle and fish stick budget thing, and voila, yeah, there and it then is. Another, another thing is just figuring out, you know, how to do a lot of the stuff and make it affordable at the same time. That's really important. And not only just, you know, Taki and I, but just to have, you know, my kids involved in some type of family activ activity together. That's really important also. So, yeah, so. It plays a big part in having our lifestyle and fishing much as well, you know. That's what it's all about. I mean, we generate an income that's uh, consistent with how we like to live, um, and how we, our lifestyle is set up, and now we're, we're using it to help people, you know, and help others experience this same thing in their life. So I think the caviar lifestyle is even more so like a caviar mindset. And so it's about living the life that you want to live and not waiting for that life, being able to use fish stick budget strategies to live that life now. You know, living from your true core and living the life living that you know. Living from the heart. Yeah. Living with real meaning. Living from your heart. What's your values? What you put into it. What's and true to you. Yeah, what's true to you and really defining the lifestyle that you would like to live. You know, the lifestyle you choose to live. And not that you just can afford to live. It's, it's more than that. So, uh, we just wanted to touch on that once again. Uh, Taki, Rhonda, right. and like I said, this is what we do, these videos and blogging, and, and that's probably the hardest part of what we do. And if that's something that looks like fun to you, then we can show you how to do it too. You should try it. You should do it too. Now let's get back to living. Yes.